feels like being back in Cameron Corner because the ground is real dusty and it fucking blows dust in your mouth and shit and you swallow it and stuff and it's everywhere. And it's crazy shit. flies. It's crazy flies. Look at this. Son. So we've just passed this guy. He's probably about in his late 40s. Do you think? I don't know. He's got a big beard. He's got a big beard. He's got a big beard. It looks like a double pram or maybe just a single pram. We saw him yesterday. He's marching along the side of this friggin' highway. And Bert stuck his thumb out the window and just gave him a thumbs up. And then today, we just saw him like two seconds ago doing it again. He's past us. We're in a car and we slept tonight. He's past us. He's marching along this highway and Bert did the exact same thing. If we manage to see him again, that's absolutely insane. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but that's crazy. That's insane. Get on him. On the side of this fucking highway, just along the edge there. Crazy. Sorry I didn't feel much yesterday afternoon. Um, we had a good stew for dinner, actually. We had, what was it? Steak and pepper. steak and something stew. It was actually really good with some budget bread. Um, but the, ba the camera was out of batteries and I couldn't be fucking finding the batteries. Uh, I just found, I've only got three. I've chucked two in and it says it's not full power. So I've got two of the dead ones and two of the new ones. And I've got one new one left. But we'll have to buy some more when we find somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's why I didn't film much last night. I'll be filming more now. It's also kind of tricky to edit. Anyway. This clock here says 11.13. This clock here says... 9.40. 9.40. And we've got no service to be able to look up what time it is where we're at right now. So, I'm not too sure. Apparently we woke up at 5.30 this morning, but it was hot out. Like, it was so bright out. It can't, it can't have been 5.30 anymore. I don't know, I'm confused. That feels like a hug. So we just made it to Norseman. Um, we finished the Nulla Ball. We finished the Nulla Ball. Woo! I got a little sticker. My teacher just put my sticker in here. Ah, don't fall on the ground. I got a little sticker to commemorate us finishing the Nulla Ball. Across the Nulla Ball. Um, and now we're taking a dirt track for about 300k um, and we're camping alongside it somewhere. I'm not really sure. Nice. I'm also on Lizard Watch. We've seen one lizard today and that's it. But I want to see more. So we're on Lizard Watch. So, yeah. Salt it's gotta be. Ooh, it's oh, kind of sparkly. It's gonna be a big salt plane. Yeah. It totally is. That's a good thought. That's cool. Well, oh, people have driven on it. We've just started about th uh, the first of 300 k's worth of gravel road. So this is what driving will be like for the next three-ish hours. Woo! So we've just come 70 k into this 300 k dirt road. Stop by the loo. Bert's moved his steering wheel. Show us. Make the noise. And that's the noise that it makes. A big old squeak. Um, so we think it might either be a shocky or it's, or it's power steering. Is the door open? We're not too sure though. Um, anyway, I hope it's not too bad. This is what the road looks like that we're driving on. Just straight dirt, mostly straight dirt. And the truck coming up all the way down the end there. I don't know if you can see all the dust flying behind it. Lots of pretty trees. Is it a van? Oh! Yeah, a car with a van, I knew it. I knew it wasn't a truck. That's right. Anyway, pretty spot. There's a greater driver we've come across. We could not figure out what the hell it was for the longest of times. He's very slow. I don't think I don't even think he's grading right now. No, he's not. He's just driving. 
but I have to get around them. Um, it might be. But I think so. It says 40. Oops. See you later, mate. I'm so excited, but it's taken us to Wave Rock. Is that not one of the most exciting names you've ever heard? How far and away is it? I have no idea what it is. I've seen it before on like photos and trip planners. I'm so excited for it. You're telling me you're not excited for Wave Rock? I'm so excited for Wave Rock. Hell yeah. Wave Rock, that way. Which way? That way, the, with the big sign. Did Ooh. you see it? Okay. Wave Rock, the salt pond. What? Well, which is the real friggin' Wave Rock welcomes you? Wave Rock Cafe, Wave Rock Resort. That's really cool. That's really cool. What's that? Sign. So, this is Wave Rock. I took a video of the other side before. This is called Hippo's Yawn Loop. Birds decided to walk along the rock. It's kind of a walking track, other people have walked in. How's that? Good. It's good? That's nice. So we've decided to walk on top of the rocks because there's nothing saying it's disrespectful or anything. Um, and it's really nice, I'm barefoot because my crocs don't grip very well. There's um, a little rock pool here I'm about to... Ooh, it looks a bit scummier than I thought it would. Maybe I won't put my feet in there. It's not really pretty though. It's a weird wall. It's like the Great Wall of China. This goes all the way along the side of this. It's pretty crazy. A big fucking rock as well. I reckon this rock's bigger than Uluru. This is a mad rock. It's a rock garden. Sculpture in stone. That's pretty cool. These are your options for getting down. 230 meters by steep descent or steps near dam 630 meters away. Is that a deep descent? Oh, shit. How are you managing but It's a good descent. So it's a little bit late now. We um, climbed up a hill to go and watch the sunset. Um, we're just having some stew and rice with buttered bread and buttered, I mean, hummus bread as well for dinner. Um, this is our setup. We're not even bothering to put up the annex tonight. Um, the swag's just over there. Because um, there's no, you can see the moon and maybe some stars and stuff. Um, there's no clouds, so we're not gonna bother putting the annex up, we're just gonna sleep under the stars. It'll be nice. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.